you have a question about the summit? No, I haven't heard that story, but, but I'm afraid I'm focusing on my goals for this trip, which include uh, strengthening the relationship. Of course, I'm aware of the story, but I haven't spoken to the minister about it yet. I'm focused on building our relation. Look, this really isn't a big story. The minister has put out a statement saying that nothing untoward has happened, and I think that should put an end to it. Now, if we can just... No, there's no need for any investigation or inquiry. The minister was very clear that nothing untoward has happened, and I believe them. <laughs> for goodness sake, normal people don't care about this. It's a very minor story, and it's simply not coming up on the doorstep. Can I just say that I have full confidence in the minister, and no further action is required. This case is closed. The investigation will be carried out by my ethics advisor, who will report back to me within a few days with his preliminary findings. Look, of course you wouldn't expect me to comment on an investigation whilst it's ongoing. Uh, let's just wait for the results of the investigation. Now, if you'll excuse me. Yes, of course I regret the fact that my ethics advisor appears to have been involved in the original story and has had to be replaced. But this does not diminish the confidence that I have in the process or my minister. No further action is required. The judge-led public inquiry will focus on three main areas. What happened, who knew, and why they tried to cover it up. Uh, we expect the inquiry to interview at least two dozen witnesses over the next 12 to 18 months and cost at least £1.5 million. Seriously, guys, please can we talk about anything else? Having seen an early draft of the report, I think it's fair to say that it's not as bad as people were suggesting it would be, and I think we should all be content now to move on and allow the minister and the rest of the government to get on with the job. It is with deep regret that earlier today I accepted the minister's resignation. I applaud their work over the last two months, and I'm very sorry that this small issue has dominated so much of their time. I'm delighted to welcome our new minister to the cabinet. I'm sure we've all forgotten that they had to resign in disgrace just a few weeks ago, and I'm looking forward to seeing them getting on with the job. No, I haven't seen that story, but today I'm really focused on welcoming our new minister. Sorry, it's about this new minister. Oh, for